Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Merch Box Car Collection. My name is Tyrone, and today on the bench we have some new arrivals straight from the 80s. Uh, team Con Convoy, um, Team Transport, whatever you want to call them. I think they changed, this is just Team Matchbox, they changed their marketing quite a few times, didn't they? Um, $18.11 to be precise from Scallywags, wherever or whomever they are. I haven't opened these. Um, the blisters are in slightly rough shape, some of them. I could actually exit out the window, but I'll try and get them out the proper way. 1984, this one. Um, yeah, let's just crack them open and see what we got. And then I'll flood the table, obviously, with all of their counterparts. Number two of Team Matchbox, 1985, probably, release. I'm sure they all went the same way as the main lines. Hmm. I'm not too worried about preserving these packets because they're pretty buggered now. See that UV damage? We we'll just have to hope that the van itself is okay. Woo! There's the Pepsi car. I'll put that over there. Something's rattling around in there. Oh, it's only bits of plastic packaging. Not really worried about it. As long as it doesn't get in the shop too much. Let's have a look. Okay, it's a slight UV damage. Um, Maybe a little bit of playware, but no chips. Yeah, I'm in two minds whether that's playware or not on those wheels. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. But they were careful, seemingly. How many vans are there like that out there? And this came as a single, the Chevy Pro Stocker. And this has a few chips, but not too worried about it because I've got it loose anyway in mint, so I'll swap that out. Yeah, a little bit of play wear there too, but and yeah, that's okay. This one can go in my swapsies bin, and uh, I'll do a switcheroo with my mint version. More importantly, the truck does it have lucky bands? Yeah, a bit of paint has come off from the rubber band but yeah it's in good nick 24 hour challenge pepsi on the side pepsi on the roof amazing how they survive isn't it so that's that team team tr team support of team transport or team matchbox whatever you want to call it who cares what they call it? These things are great. This took some finding. I'm a bit worried about that rubber band, what it's going to do to the paint work, but we'll get to that. Jack and Jill were selling this for $15.95 in, probably the same year, 1985, and it's 84 copyright. So, something rattling around in there. I presume it's uh, the remnants of this rubber band. Let's have a look. Now the 7-Up Ute rough track is quite tricky to find these days. And if you do find it, it's not in great shape. But um, the plastic seems untouched by UV. Let's have a look at the Ute. Looks pristine, doesn't it? Bit of dirt there. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. I'm told there are about 10 of this particular casting uh, in the Rough Trek version, not just the normal street version of the Ute. So I'll bring them all on in a second. Actually, I didn't bring them all out. I brought, I brought a lot of it. A lot of them out. Oh, that could have come out the same way. <laughs> I thought that was on a different level. But now, whee, look at that. It's like Terminator in there. 
come on. So we'll plug that over there. Yeah, that's a little bit rubber band flying around. Yikes. Ooh, I think I'll leave that. It's like picking a scab, isn't it? <laughs> Lemon and lime natural flavorings, the Seven Up Company. Nothing else is natural about that goo, but you do get natural flavorings. Hmm. Yeah, it's not been played with. Yay. Well, there's a bit of it. Didn't take any paint. Oh, crikey. No, 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 no. Leave it, boy. Leave it. 7-Up Pro Stocker. Didn't really get those tempos pristine or, or um, precise, should I say. And I'll kid myself and say there's no play wear on those tyres, but who knows. It's in pretty good nick. That's good. Suspension's there. That looks like play wear, but there is a chip there. So, hmm. I don't have a backup one of these. I don't think these came loose like the number 14 did, but that's okay. Pretty side to the camera, please. Yeah, really happy with that. Really happy with that. Uh, onwards and upwards. Now we get to these Team Convoys from later in that decade. And we've got... Um, where are we? Let's see on the bottom. Maybe I'm missing it. Maybe it's there. You're shouting at the tally. I can't see it. Oh, there we are. 1987. So yeah, 1988, presumably. Plastics looking like giving up. It's got a big old split in it. $16.25 from somewhere. Uh, the Pirelli Porsche set. Looks like the Dodge truck has got some UV damage to the box. Yeah, a little bit. Not, nothing too drastic. Can live with that. I don't think this came as a Pirelli in a single Dodge truck. Oh, it's got a plastic base. Did you know that? I'm sure I have one with a metal base around the place. Hmm. Not played with, but UV damaged. Although the insert stood up. It's interesting, isn't it? How did these guys go? Hey, no rubber band damage at all on this one. That's a bonus. And this paint stood up remarkably well. To any light exposure. That looks like it's blew off the carton, but maybe that'll rub off. Love it. And of course, the Porsche. Probably only available with the Pirelli livery in this set. Porsche 959. Gripping stuff. As I get very old rubber band debris all over the joint. That's terrific. Mm, I'm thinking that's um, carton wear or package rub. And the fourth one, actually I think we'll clear these away because I'm going to need all the room there is on this studio table to bring out all the other cars for the welcoming party. Gee, there is a lot of debris here. That's okay. Now this one I've never seen. Maybe I'd seen it in the catalogue, but I certainly don't remember it. Tizer, the appetizer. 1625. So looks like both of the dark blue ones were bought from the same shop. In 1988. Let's have a gander. And it's got the Ford Sierra as the race car. Hmm, is that taped? Nope. As much as I tell you I don't care about packaging, I don't want to wreck stuff willy-nilly. This is really old. 
and it would be nice if I didn't contribute to its deterioration. Although that... There we go. A little bit of coaxing. Yeah, the uh, plastic window on this is a bit buggered too, but it's alright. Yeah, man. Ooh, what have we got? Oh, that's a nice looking truck. Again, it's... Oh, that, that rubbed right off. Oh, wonderful. It's a weird bit of blue. It's definitely from the packaging. Oh, that's in really good condition. See the rubber band in there? Hopefully, it's... Oh, there you go. Magic. Magic. Such a shame when these rubber bands destroy paintwork. See? They're not made to last. And obviously th these are not weren't made to be in their package for 30 years. They were meant to be sold and played with. But here we are, 30 years later, and uh, I presume these have been out of their packet, but um, seemingly not played with. Not like a, not by a destructive kid like I was. Um, I wasn't intentionally destructive, but uh, you know, when there's a car chase, things knock together, don't they? <laughs> uh, I cringe at all the rattly sounds of rubber bands. Oh yeah, that's the super band, isn't it? Yeah, Ford Super Band Two, made in Macau, plastic base, but a lot of metal there. The blacked out windows to hide the no interior thing. That looks like packaging rub. I'm sure that'll come off or not. It's pretty good. Wow, I've never seen that one. I've got maybe five versions of the, the super van, but not that one. Does that fit up there? No. This is the support vehicle. Didn't even look at the Sierra. This is an all-time favorite casting. Tizer Racing Team. Tizer the Appetizer. Don't know what that product is or was. Doesn't really matter. It's afforded us a really nice Sierra. Fantastic. Oh, please excuse the bits of rubber band everywhere. But we'll line them all up. Um, and the support vehicles, where do they go? I don't want them crowding the joint up. So we'll put the support vehicles sort of randomly off to the side there. It's, yeah, show them your good side, mate. You can pop over there. Although this is probably the star of the show for me. They're hard to get. Really hard to get. Now, a pitch invasion. Now, because I store these in separate places, like a, a, I've got rows of the truck with the racer, and then I, I have a separate drawer for the Chevy vans, and I have a separate drawer for all Holdens, so they don't live together. They're um, estranged, should we say. So there are some things I haven't found the support vehicle in the 10 minutes I rushed to get this video ready. But uh, we'll do our best. We always do our best around here for your entertainment. Oh, this is the DeWalt. I love this one. I love them all, but um, some just shout out to me. I love the blue of this truck and the STP oil treatment racing team. Uh, I did find the van for this one. It's the Chevy van. See what I mean? Chevy vans live together. They should. It's the proper thing to do. <laughs> I think we'll step back oops, and step on stuff. But we'll step back because we're going to need some breathing room. Mm, a bit wonky. I swear to God you must fidget when I leave the room. Bump the camera. How's that? That's as good as we get. All right. And we've got this one. And I was supposed to bring out... Oh, I did bring out the other rough track. See? Not to be confused with the newbie. Look at that. They look great together. Put him there. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, we'll get all the support cronies over the back. 
left of scroll background, I should say. The finger hut, I don't know what finger hut is, it sounds pretty gross. It sounds like an edible product, I don't know. Cross between, um, I won't say. We got Kodak, uh, did Kodak, yeah, Kodak came with a Chevy van too. Oh, that's the DeWalt one. And Kodak, it's buddy -o. So many Chevy vans, such a fan of the Chevy van. It's the Kodak film outfit, and I love this one. Just a lovely contrast, isn't it? It's sort of a, you know, uh, these days you can get a, a wrap for your car. Um, and they just sort of clean up your car so there's no dead bugs on it and put this wrap on it. And I think they vacuum the thing on. <laughs> but uh, comes out in that lovely matte look in the van to go with it. You can go over there and uh, oh nice red one number 11 yeah that's cool Amoco the stock car I think we're in out of space but we'll we'll push it we always do Hendrick Motorsports number 25 gee it looks like race day doesn't it um, oh that's a beautiful blue now I can't remember what support car went with it it's somewhere behind me i'll have to look at a previous video that i showed this one off when it came in to uh identify its support car but um it's a real advantage i have with making these videos i don't actually have to have a memory i can just roll the tape back love this one it's the dr pepper and there is a van you can almost instantly find Look at these casting lines, but it's all part of the deal. Pop him in there, and uh, one more, and then some more support vehicles. Again, not sure. Didn't even clean this up after it came in. Sometimes I don't have time. The Valvoline. I know there's a Valvoline. I think it might be a super van. Where are we? Where'd you go? I think uh, the the one I was looking for is one of these in the Valvoline. Yeah, well, so we'll shove him over the back just so the newbies get lost in the action and they're made to feel very welcome. That was a crazy support vehicle, wasn't it? That was for number 11. He can go with his buddies, and there goes that finger hut again. I'll shove him over the back like he doesn't mean anything. And 25 bringing up the rear. Gee, I'm spotting this. Uh, rubber band debris <laughs> everywhere. But we'll, we'll go to the crow's nest, look down from on high, and marvel the spectacular view. Wow. And still they come. Goodness knows how many there are left to collect. But I'm on it. My lord, I'm on it. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.